What's going on, everybody? It's I'm a Relic the God Slayer. I'm a Relic Gaming. We're back in more Final Fantasy XIV. We're hitting up more of the story, the uh, I would say the post Shadowbringers. Uh, we haven't really gotten into the official Endwalker story yet, but uh, I have finished concluding my grind. I have concluded my grind, should I say, uh, for all the Crypt Lurkers accessories and sets. I've got myself fully. Sp uh, Got myself fully uh, material spec'd out here. I'm basically going with the uh, crit and direct hit. Makes is what I'm going for. Uh, be that I don't need I don't need skill speed anymore to to sub to subsidize blood weapon. And it seems to be all right now. Two thirty nine. That's not too bad. I had it at like what two thirty eight, two thirty seven before. So not too bad. I feel like I'm. I'm finally getting the balance Dark Knight a little more along the damage side, which is nice to have better numbers as a tank, you know. So I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good about Dark Knight right now. Uh, you know, Living Dead's been improved vastly, and so it's feeling a little, feeling a little bit better. Dark Knight's starting to feel like it should be if it's going to be a tank. So let's get into the rest of this this story. We left off here with Alpha No. Alpha no, looks just about ready to leave you behind. We mustn't dally here any longer, Omen. If Begleg is to hear the truth of our travels in the first, all of you should be present. Okay. been a minute since I've been back here been back here I was spun a lot of my time in Yulemore trying to get the uh, accessories and all that together all right hopefully this uh New mile will actually grant us what we need. I'm sorry. You mean to tell me not only that the return of night was your doing, but that you hail from another world as well? Everything we told you, of the Source, the Shards, the Seven Umbral Calamities, all of it is true. I realize how fantastical it sounds, and I would not blame you for doubting our testimony. But given your expertise, you must surely have noted the peculiar nature of their souls. Any other time and I would have dismissed your stories as balderdash and flummery. But upon closer inspection, it is plain their souls are far denser than is normal, and that they do not possess true bodies. Save you. Your body is your own. And your soul is the densest of them all. As I said before, 
Were it not for their heroism, the skies over Norvrant would still be awash with light, the realm yet at the mercy of Vorthri and the Sin Eaters. After all they have done for our home, seeing them safely back to their own, it seems the very least we can do. Hmm. Your tale is intriguing. Yes, very intriguing indeed. Simply to hear it is fitting payment in itself. As for your friends, I can but agree. Their valorous deeds on behalf of Norvrant are deserving of recognition. Of their own fitting payment. You will help us then? I will. I would see my knowledge put to good use for a change. I do have one condition, however. I am not the spry young Numo I once was. As such, I will require assistance in my fieldwork and testing. It would be our pleasure. We'll be laboring for our own benefit after all. Oh, shoot. I got another quest full of... You know what this is going to be? I'm going to do like a whole long quest line on, on getting the souls back. You already know how Final Fantasy is. They present one thing you got to do, and then they say, okay, now you're going to spend the next two hours doing it. You know, <laughs> Final Fantasy don't be playing with your quest, boy. Your quest be serious when you had to take the quest on. Highly charged. State of dormancy.
Yeah, I would say, dude, uh, she like, she cares about those people at Journey's End. She developed a, a personal connection to those people. Oh, should we go to Alma Rain? Gotta turn that music up. You already know how this go. Before I leave. You already know we need to come out here and listen to this for a second. Blazing hot sun. All right, had to go out there and listen to that for a minute. leans perilously toward the light toward stasis what happened to him not too bright are you boy the same as all poor fools corrupted by a light it will become a sin eater you don't know that you defeated the wardens and banished the light from the night sky Alric was completely unresponsive before, but now. And perhaps there is yet hope. Hmm. If I may, is there, there is a treatment I wish to administer to the patients. What sort of treatment? In the course of my studies of the soul, I once created a tonic that could temporarily stimulate the ether in one's body. After some refinement, it could be used it came to be used by the Knights of Volbert. Then for far darker purposes. Lest it fall into the wrong hands, I swore never again to make it. But for their sakes I will break that oath. 
It is not like to reverse the stagnation, mind you, but it should offer some measure of relief. Let me guess, I gotta, yep. Oh, so I have it, okay. Never mind, I have it. Have you noted any change in the patients? Oh. Body temperature increased motor function. In most of the patients, at least. The more severely afflicted show no response. As I feared then. It is true that with the restoration of night, the crumping influence of light will grow, will no longer grow. And yes, their bodies will naturally return to equilibrium given time. This holds true only for their corporeal aether. Their incorporeal aether, that of the soul, is not so easily mended. Saves the corruption like Howry. Pretty unaffected by your tonic. Precisely. The boy's soul is too far gone. His mind held together by the finest of threads. There is a chance he may one day recover. But it could take years, decades even. Are the gods? He could wait to find himself an old man. A fine reward for his persistence. The opportunity to mourn the life he never had a chance to live. Damn. No, there must be something we can do. Look, I realize this is not why we petitioned your aid. But do you think it's possible we could find a way to hasten their recovery? Maybe. Nor do I think it impossible that in treating them, we, we might learn something of relevance to your own predicament. Well, at least he ain't giving up on them. Because that is a terrible fate. <laughs> Beglug 
is ready to speak of the metaphysical. Uh oh. I suspect the crystal art, the crystal, uh, the crystal exar, has told you of my past. That I was once a mage of the royal court, Bulber, and that soulcraft was my field of study. The tonic you administer to the patient here is one of the fruits of my labors. I hope to do great things for the kingdom, but in the end, my knowledge brought only suffering, a plague the like of which no one had ever seen. In the hands of unscrupulous men, what should have been my greatest triumph instead became my greatest shame. And now you have a chance to redeem yourself. That I do. A comforting thought indeed. But let us return to the task at hand, finding a means by which we may revitalize these peoples in corporeal aether. Well, the sky is still ablaze with the paramotor light. I would call it an exercise in futility. But now, now we may have a chance. The method I have in mind will entail the conjuring of a familiar. They are able to amplify the energies poured into them, making them the perfect conduit for the aether revitalizing magics we will ultimately employ. If you're about to launch into a lengthy explanation of the metaphysics of your plan, don't bother. I'd rather get on with whatever it is needs to be done, if it's all the same to you. Whatever regions must be procured or spells invoked, I'll do it. I admire your spirit. <laughs> Very well. Your first task will be to gather the necessary materials. The purest of waters, the finest of clays, as well as a fey lantern brimming with pixie magic. You are convinced the resulting familiar could, could help the patients? Fine. The water and clay will be simple enough, but I think you know what we'll have to do to get the lantern. Do to get the lantern. You don't mean. The pixies took a quite a liking, took a li uh, took quite a liking to us before. If we humor them with our company, I'm sure they'll be willing to help us. Fine, we'll pay a visit to El to El Mag, El Mag. Though I never thought you would be the ones to suggest going back there. I am impressed you've been there at all, let alone befriended the Fey folk. While you're about it, seek out the Numao of Plaini. They will be able to supply you with water suitable to, for our needs. Right, let's get this over with, shall we? There still remains a matter of the clay. Might I provide you, might I prevail upon you to find it? I am the warrior of light. <laughs> Name would likely be best. Know you of anyone who might be able to assist us? I'm sure. While you and the twins are occupied, I can learn from the stagnation that afflicts the people here.
Gotta go to Twine. Off to Twine. Magnus. Magnus. Oh, man. Well, what a coincidence. We come at a good time. We've just, we've just this moment finished repairing the Talos. And Charlie, you took to Nabok um, Orion. The trolley was no trouble, but the Talos would have been another matter had we not had a visit from Master Shy. He offered us a share of the leftover building materials from Daedalus Stoneworks, as well as a few trade secrets to help us along. Clever man, that Chai News. He seemed pretty keen on the ideas I had for putting the giant Talos to work. Like a giant trolley. But Magnus still refuses to see all the good we could do with it. You're entitled to your dreams, Jerry. But that doesn't mean you can go har harassing our guests with them. Master Chai was just being polite. And something tells me Ahmed didn't come here. Then come all this way to hear about trolleys. What does he need, friend? Need some clay, bro. Got any clay? Let's see, and this familiar requires clay from Amaran. Well, look no further. If anyone can find some quality clay, it's us. Saying that, it isn't exactly a commodity nowadays. But there must be some lurking around, somewhere around or other. Waiting to be dug up. If I'm not mistaken, there was a time when they used to take clay from Mount Biran Mines to make adobe bricks. <clears throat> Place is swarming with coyotes now. But if you're after the good stuff, you could do no worse than to look there.
wondering exactly what what has he got in mind what he's gonna be making with what kind of how the familiar is gonna go into healing these people twins have returned and one piece of that turned one of them into a, a garden ornament but no you have the clay I like it it's, you're the clay, I take it. We need but combine the clay and the water, then heat the mixture with the fey lantern. After that, it will be a simple matter of settling upon a super little form and performing the necessary incantation. Like, I have a question. In the event that we need to, we have need of this spell, and you weren't around, would it be possible for another to perform the incantation? Assuming they possess the requisite skill, yes. How I reckon the others have suffered so much, and I swore to do everything in my power to save them. Is there a chance this spell could could do that? I would be. If there's a chance that the spell could do that, I would be the one to invoke it. Mayhap, you should be the one to do so. A deep understanding of the subject's physical state, combined with a strong desire to help them, can drastically increase the magic's effect. And you are plainly more familiar with these people than I. I dare say there are few in all of Norvran more dedicated to finding a cure. Is that not so, Alma? Absolutely, she's the best one for the job. Best one for the job. I'll give it my all. But how are you? Tesline. 
then we are all of a mind on the matter. Ali say should be the one to conjure the familiar. Let us begin. I trust you've prepared the clay? Very good. Now, I would have you sculpt for me a porksy. Plump, with floppy ears and a short curly tail. A porksy. I think I know what you mean. There we are. H how's that? Suddenly creative. <laughs> There's no denying that. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm no artist. Very funny. Pay him no mind, child. Though it may look like a grotesque parody of reality, it is what the invoker believes that matters. <laughs> Grotesque parody of reality. <laughs> oh shit! You're not helping. <laughs> but I speak the truth. If successful, this incantation will turn imagination into reality. Which is why the only thing of import is what you believe this figure embodies. You must focus. Hold the Porksy's image steady in your mind's eye. Now then, as I taught you, relax and allow your energies to flow. With flesh of clay I bid thee rise, on wings of dreams to touch the skies. What once was idle fantasy, I call forth to reality. for a first attempt. Now, let us see what can be done for young Halric. Through the operation of the magics you invoked to animate this familiar, it is now replete with the energies required to stir the boy's soul. You need but give it a name, and it will do as your heart desires. A name. All right, I've decided. Now. Go, Angelo!
Yo, did it not work? That was cold blooded, dude. You saw that shit? It's like he's trapped in his own body. Damn. that the same is also true of the subject as much you must proceed with caution however with further treatment I have the mo most confidence the boy will make a full recovery observing the reanimation of his stagnant soul has been most enlightening I will need time to put my theories to the proof but I believe I can fashion a spell to produce the opposite effect that is to induce stagnation Thus enabling our safe transport to the source via our site. A thought occurred to me about this treatment. It said when the soul is rendered dormant, the mind separates from the body. That a person becomes incapable of interacting with the world around them. Does that, does that not sound a lot like some of the tempered back in the source? Not really. It is the fate of most tempered to become slaves to primals, save in a handful of cases, or am I missing something? If I can master this technique, the art of revitalizing the soul, I know of at least one in the source who could desperately use such treatment. Gawu. <clears throat> His condition was uncannily similar to, similar to Gary's, is it not? The only difference being that his soul was suffused with earth expected eight instead of light. It follows that if his soul was subject to a similar kind of stagnation, there may be a chance we can save him, right? Forgive me, but who is this Gabu fellow you of whom you're speaking? condition seems similar but there's much more about the soul that remains unknown even to me I say this is not to discourage you understand but to remind you that this is delicate work we do here work requiring patience of course and as long as there's hope for the patience here I will devote whatever time is needed to see this through but I refuse to spend that time in idleness if that's all the same to you I'd like to Stay here with Angelo and continue with their treatment. Two, you should return to the Custerium with Big Leg, Big Lug, and see if you can make s some headway with their new positive theories. I would tell you to, to rest first, but I see you're not to be convinced. Ah, the fire of youth. Let's return to the Custerium then. Custerium then.
Finally, I found you. Kashiri? Oh, Kashiri? What are you doing all the way out here? There's trouble back in Yomar. Lady Shy is beside herself. Sighing pacing the whole lot. Never enough begged me to go and find you. Sighing and pacing, you say? It must be urgent. I take it I will be returning to the Custerium alone. Go on then. It is not as if you have anything for you to I have anything to do. Thank you, Big Luck. Sorry for bothering you and all that, but she says the future of your more is at stake. Okay, we're gonna end it here, guys. And we're gonna see what's going on with her. And uh this 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 apparent uh hey I'll say. What you doing, girl? And we're gonna go see uh what's going on at Euromore. I'm gonna roll the Godslayer. I'm gonna really gaming. We out.